you are welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to record withholding tax in QuickBooks Desktop. Now, withholding tax is an advanced payment of tax, and it is tax on individual and companies. For the case of Nigeria, it might be five percent or ten percent, depending on the contract and the, the services and the transactions involved. Now, I'm going to show you how to record withholding tax in QuickBooks. So, I have a company file open here. ABC Nigeria Limited. I'm going and I'm and in this video I'm assuming that ABC Nigeria Limited consulted a firm and is supposed to pay a consultancy fee or professional fee of 10 million naira. And let's assume that the withholding tax is five percent. So how do we record the payment of the consultancy fee? How do you record the, this transaction? Now, this transaction will be recorded. I'm going to show you how to record it in two phases. How to recognize it initially, and when there is the, and what to actually record when the payment of withholding tax is actually done. So, to do that, we'll go to our company. We'll go to our accountant to make journal entries. We're going to make it, raising the journal entries for that. Let me clear this. So. Now, so there are three accounts. I'll list out the accounts that are involved here. Now, I've created an account called consultancy fee. So I'm going to debit my consultancy fee account with the sum of now the contract sum is 10 million naira. So if I also take withholding tax of five million, five percent, I beg your pardon. That will, that will mean the net amount I'll pay the nine million five hundred thousand. Now, I'm equally going to debit income tax expense or what or tax expense, depending on how you the name you gave for the your tax expense account. Go income tax expense, income tax expense. Okay, I already have it. I'll debit it with the sum of. 500,000 then I will now credit my account payable or credit account payable account payable with a sum of 950 which I'm to pay the net amount that is payable to that is to be paid to the the consultancy firm then I will now credit my withholding tax, withholding tax paid. Now, this is how you recognize it, the first entry that is supposed to be made. So I can now click save and new. Please choose a vendor when using account payable. So let me assume I'm paying a particular vendor. I'm, I'm paying this. Let me assume I'm paying, let me just assume I'm paying uh, the vendor is Stephen Okoye. Let me just select this name. So I'll now click save and close, save and new. Okay, let me, okay, let me, I have to select the vendor for both accounts. So I'll select, I have to select the vendor's name here. So I'm assuming the vendor, the vendor here is this person. So I'll select, I have to select the name, select the name here, select the name. Okay, then I can now click save and new, save and new. Okay, then once the payment, how do we record the payment of the withholding tax and the payment to the consultancy fee? Now, to record the payment to the the uh, consultancy fee and the payment of withholding tax, I'll first of all come and debit my account payable, account payable, to the sum of nine million five hundred thousand. Debit my withholding tax. With the sum of five hundred thousand, then I'll now credit my bank. Now the bank you are making the payment. I'm assuming I'm making the payment from GTB Bank, so I'll now come here and select the name of the the uh, the vendor, Stephen Okoye. So here, yeah, memo. This is where you write description 
of the activity. So you could just write uh, what you could just write the being payment, being payment of withholding tax and payment to to consultancy firm. So that's how you record it. So you now click save and close. Save and close. So that's how you record withholding tax on QuickBooks. Thank you very much for watching. It's an NA Calistus here. Please do well to subscribe, share, and click on the notification button so you get notified when I produce more videos. Thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.